Snaps into a run. It's got all the makings of a melted right front tire. You see right there, halfway down the straightaway. Tire goes flat. The car sits down on the suspension. The sparks are flying. The 98 right there does a really nice job. Casey Mears realizes he is in a bad place on the outside of this 40. Gets on the brakes, slows down enough to turn past him. Doesn't get the right. car here outside. I think that's the uh, bus stop. He's out in that collection area. The bus stop. We'll have to see. If you can get the car re got my no, name from like Michael Walter Bracing. They gave me a call asking if I wanted to uh, drive the truck for them for this dirt track deal and talked to my sponsors, and they were all excited about it. And, uh, yeah, I guess now, now I'm here. Erickson will be racing in the number 82 in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series Wednesday night at Eldora Birthday Speedway in Ohio. racing with Air Dakota Armstrong. Scheduled to run six or seven of the last races here in 2011. Debut tonight, doing a nice job running on the lead lap inside the top 20. He's going to be really surprised when that four truck goes by and he sees how bad it's torn up. It's going to make him feel a little bit bad about what's Trouble. happening. Spin. Caution is out. David Stremme has uh, eased around. And just the second yellow flag of this race just passed halfway. Stay right there behind the 38, start to creep down. Coach, start to creep down right here, right here. All that memorable. No, he, he had driven along and, uh, and had stayed in the draft and was just uh, being patient. He was right at the back of this whole pack, but when it all started happening in front of him, nowhere to go. Jeff Fuller has made it to the pits. Three, They'll never make it. They'll never make it. They did. They made it. Uh, three wide. <laughs> right to the middle. Spinner on the back stretch. Oh, good. We hit good on there again. Right down now to turn four. Pretty hard hit down here on the turn four. John Jackson, the 72 truck. He hit the end of that pit wall, man. That, that, that was big. Getting the red flag from NASCAR. We're seeing the window net come down. That's a great sign. You won't, I mean, he knocked and speaking of athletes, him. Josh Wise, probably one of the fittest athletes in the garage. He does triathletes, you, or triathlons, I should say, and you're getting ready to do a half Ironman. How do you find time to train for these events? I, I guess I just make time, you know. I, uh, I don't do much of anything else other than drive race cars and train and hang out with my family. So uh, it's just, you know, a passion outside of the car and a good release for me and um, something I can be competitive and you know I think as race car drivers we're all competitors so I enjoy the race the training to race part of it you know and uh, also helps me be fit for the race car so uh, everything kind of just fits well for me with it and you just find places to run outside of the race tracks okay so last year the fans voted and you got into the sprint all-star race how about this year do you think they can do it again for you and get you in man I don't know I hope so I mean I know uh, I know there's a lot of people uh, voting who voted last year and I feel like last year we kind of took uh, everyone by surprise, where I think everyone's fan bases are pretty fired up this year. So it's going to take a valiant effort to, to do it again, you know, but uh, uh, we're excited about it. And uh, it's, it's cool to have that possibility and that much uh, support, you know, to, to get into a race like that. It's always good to talk to you. Hopefully we're going to get back out racing here shortly, and you'll see Josh Wise on the track, one of the fittest men out there. <laughs> Guys, let's go back to the Hollywood studio. This is Mike Skeens, who's running the, the uh, Hawk Brakes Chevy. When you and I first met, I don't know, four or five years ago online, um, you had been, you had just come off a, a great season in Spectiata and were really pushing social media hard to build a name for yourself. How does that, and I mean obviously that combined with, with talent, work? So how, did, how does that translate into going from World Challenge to the trucks. Well, you know, driving a, a car or driving a truck, you know, the physics are all the same. Even though everything feels different, you got a lot of different inputs, different weights, downforce, all that. You know, it's it's still just driving around. So, you know, that's the easy part coming here. Is learning how to get around is fine. I know the track. I can drive the truck. It's learning how to set one of these things up. Learning how the race flows. You know, my competition. Going into turn number three, four. I sure do like watching these races on speed. Oh, oh again. The 09 gets turned around. Nate Monte. And Dennis Setzer got a little piece of that in that A truck. Nate Monteith is just from right down the road here. Certainly got a lot of fans watching. Didn't want to wind up crashed. But it looks like he gets away without a whole lot of damage, Bill. How about Chris Jones and that 87 truck has remained in the second position ever since this restart. Take another look at why our second caution of the night has happened. <laughs> 
Nate Monteith in the 0-9. Little contact from the 13 of Johnny Sauter coming off. There's his contact oh. with Dennis Setzer in the 8 truck. Second caution has come out. We'll be back. See if Nick gets it started. If he cannot refire that car and get it out of there, which he will. And that will not bring out a full course caution. But we all I got a camper. I mean, I wonder what I do about my camper. I think right now. Richard Harriman would like to be in a camper. His qualifying effort didn't turn out as well as he wanted to. Uh, I got it, Brad. Does a really nice job, though. It gets away from him, but it's a nice job of cranking that thing to the right, holding that gas wide open, and, and, and keeping it out of that outside wall. He can race that truck, and that's a good accomplishment. Put him some tires on there and race it, but he did a nice job. And normally, you just...